Hello, my name is Lethal Dolo Konka Trawala. You know, as you all know, I'm a social entrepreneur. Now, you'd usually find me with a smile, but the reason I'm not that excited is I'm a bit sad because of the conversation that I was having just now with my best friend, Trini, you know, he's the one taking the video. We're just talking about our lives in general, and we're talking about where we were back then and where we are now, you know. 2014, I was working in a retail store, and today I managed to own multiple businesses, you know. Now, what is it that transitioned me from the position of working in a retail store to being where I am today? Now, it's very simple. You know, the, most of us, when we see people that are working in a retail store, we probably think that it's just average people that don't have degrees or anything like that. But the truth of the matter is, 80, not even 80, 90% of the people I was working with in that retail store actually had the degrees, you know. Now, why are they working where they are? There's nothing wrong with the working a 9 to 5 at a McDonald's or something like that, right? It's actually a stepping stone towards the next level in life. But then the thing is, most people find themselves working there too long. It really broke my heart. I was uh, back in my province uh, a few weeks ago and I went to the mall and I saw most of the people that I used to work there were still working there. Those are the same people that when we were having lunch in the kitchen, they were talking about what they want to do next you know, uh, where they want to be two years from now. And seeing them from 2014, I mean, uh, till now, it's 2018. That's a five-year period. Seeing them at the very same place really got me worried. And I did this video just to advise young graduates not to fall in that trap because, as we can see, unemployment is really high. And obviously, you'll end up finding yourself working at a retail, uh, maybe McDonald's or anything that sells clothes, just to get an income because going for that long without an income is depressing. But I'm going to give you just one advice because I always avoid long videos and that will help you to transition from or to be able to move out of the system that will bond you or that will tie you to working at that average job that God didn't intend you for for a very uh, for the rest of your life, right? Now, the first credit I give to where I am is to the man above, which is God. Why? Because I worked for a period of a year, but then I was never permanent, you know? Most people would work two months and they'll be permanent on the go but then the reason why i thank god for not being permanent at that job is because of the reason uh, that most people find themselves working at a job for the rest of their lives because of that permanent now <laughs> by the time that i was working i was not yet personally developed i was not reading books i was so ignorant to his life i was buying jordans almost every four months every three months you know i'd buy them i'd leave by it and then take it out leave by another one now imagine if i was permanent was what was i going to do definitely i was going to take it via via credit right now that's what most people do i mean look at phones most people would want a nice phone right now they would go they would approve them a phone is 24 months most of the time that's two years your goal working at mcdonald's was to work for one year as you establish your dreams but now you took a two-year contract obviously you cannot quit working until you finish that debt you understand what I'm, what, what I'm talking about so to my fellow young graduates there's nothing wrong with getting an average job to carry a stream of income but avoid buying anything on credit unless of course it's going to bring you a passive income on the side if it's gadgets accounts and all those things avoid credit trust and believe credit is going to tie you into rather buy property credit is going to tie you into being at that job for the rest of your life you know so rather uh, take things cash and avoid being on credit and work on the side on establishing where you want to be and i promise you a few years from now you'll be telling your you'll be also be sharing your story either on youtube or at a larger platform tv or on the radio or on newspaper thank you very much if you love this content do share and subscribe with your fellow cousins your young professionals not to get into the trap that keeps most people stagnated do like uh, leave a comment below from me to you, cheers.